Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I am making this video on demand of my viewers and some students. In this video, we will study that how we can make, how we can find IC50 values from different data. So here, let's suppose we have concentration. At different concentrations, we have percentage inhibition. So these are the in vitro calculated values. So we can plot this value here on x-axis the concentrations and on y-axis percentage inhibitions and we should keep in mind that we have to start from zero so here is the zero concentration of inhibitor and uh, the percentage inhibition is will, will be zero also but we have to start from zero so when we are going to plot this we will go to analyze Go to regression and curves, nonlinear regression curve fit. We will go to nonlinear regression. Okay. We can choose recently used, or I will show you that we go, we will go to dose response inhibition, inhibitor, inhibitor concentration versus response. We have taken these kind of, these kind of data. We can also use this kind of data that we can take log of these inhibitor concentrations these inhibitor concentrations log of these concentrations and then percentage inhibition or we can also plot against activity percentage activity and we can use this type of graph so here we have only inhibitor concentrations and response so i will select this one now here we get ic50 value which is 40.34 in micromolar and here we have degree of freedom is 3 and R square root is 0 0.973 so if we go to graph it will be like this now this is our graph for IC50 values so we can manipulate we can manipulate our results like here I am going to make it IC to so we have 40 point something and we have plus minus 3 degree of freedom we can go to symbol insert plus minus choose plus minus 3 <clears throat> here we can make it IC 50 x is we have inhibit inhibition percentage so we will write inhibition percentage or this is percentage color so we can this is in times new roman we can also make it Roman we can select font size from here control Z this is our inhibitor concentration determine the range and interval or we can choose by our own that is major tick intervals i am going to make 50 or 100 we can take 100 tick intervals and a minimum range to maximum is 600 choose let's suppose 600 is more we can also select 500 or in which our data lies so here we will go to apply and we can also select the font New Roman and we will select one is our Times New Roman and on Y axis again we can select
so if we make if we are going to color this so we can select change color from here or we can go to from this graph setting I prefer more color schemes and then I will go to from here I usually use candy bright candy bright is my favorite so we will choose candy bright it is not chosen color schemes and candy bright okay so it, it should it should be like this candy bright but it is not showing now so i can first i want candy bright now it should be but I, I don't know why it is not taking now but i will So we can choose different colors. From here, candy soft, candy bright, and our green or black and white or greenish or okay. So in this way. and after this when we are going to save this file we will go to file and export here we can select our file jpg or any where we want to save the export this one and the, now this will be saved like this in the next video we will study some other kinetic studies and uh, how we can use other parameters of graph pad prism